Hi, I'm Chris Cardona, and I'd like to welcome you to our walking tour of Odyssey of the Seas, coming up on Talking Cruise. So we're starting our walking tour of Odyssey of the Seas here on deck number three. Uh, this is uh, the main dining room, there's beautiful LED screens here as you enter. Uh, they change uh, a little bit throughout the day and you can see there's movement of flowers. Really, really beautiful. Here in the center of the main dining room, it's actually uh, two levels. On deck three and deck four, and then that third level up there, deck five, that's actually the uh, via. Which uh, we'll show you a little bit later on the tour, but uh, just a beautiful design and uh, really opens up the space uh, in the dining room. The entrance to Casino Royale is just forward of the main dining room on deck three. So we are now on uh, deck four. Uh, we are moving from aft, mid, uh, forward. And uh, the first area we're gonna enter through is the Royal Esplanade. This is kind of the uh, Quantum Classes version of the Royal Promenade. Not as large, but it has the same concept with dining and uh, activities and bars and so forth uh, right on the main boulevard. Here is uh, guest services. Nice large area. They're there to help you 24 hours a day if you have any concerns or questions. And uh, I'm gonna switch back on both sides so I'll give you an idea because there are places on each side of the ship. Uh, here we have Boleros, which was, uh, had some great music and dancing last evening. Just like the Royal Promenades, you see that it is multi-level, so you get that sense of volume in here. And uh, there are shops. We're in port right now in uh, Costa Maya, so uh, shops are not open. Some kiosks over here, Royal Caribbean logo wear. And uh, here we have one of the licensed Starbucks, uh, which is pretty much like a fully fledged uh, location. It has um, most, if not all, of the same things that you would find on land-based uh, Starbucks. Good morning. And uh, smells smells great in here. Uh, just so you know as well, Starbucks is not included. Um, if you have any of the beverages uh, packages, those you will have to pay extra for. But you can get premium coffees at the um, 270 Cafe, which we will be checking out as well and here is the cafe promenade a much smaller version of it than you would see on uh, some of the other ships in the fleet but you can come here and get a quick uh, little bite in the morning in the afternoon they switch from pastries to sandwiches um, and there are beverages complimentary juices and waters and coffees as well and here we have Sorrento's Pizzeria Sorrento's Pizzeria is complimentary and uh, it's typically open lunch and dinner time as well. And uh, this is a rather large one uh, as compared to some of the other ships in the fleet. But it's not just pizza. They have uh, bocconcini and tomato salad, marinated olives, some polenta, mixed vegetables, mortadella. So really nice uh, starters. And then they got pizza, cheese, vegetarian, pepperoni, and what looks like uh, an American combo or what we might call a Supreme. And uh, I know a lot of people are always interested in knowing, yes, there are the self-service uh, Coca-Cola freestyle machines here with all your varieties of flavors. Uh, so you can come get that over here. And just continuing to move through. We have the uh, Crown and Compass Pub. 
It's a great place to uh, grab a drink in the evening. They have some fantastic live entertainment. It's a pretty large pub, so there's lots of space, and there are some tables on the uh, outside as well. There's another shot there of the Royal Esplanade. And we're gonna keep continuing to move through here. It's got more shops. There's the exterior seating of the pub. And uh, it's also nice volume in here. And more shops for watches, jewelry, cosmetics, everything you might want on board. Uh, we're gonna step inside this space on the other side, but this is the music hall. Great venue, it's a two-story venue. Uh, great for uh, live music. They also do bingo and other activities on board there as well. There's a, a great chair for a king or queen. And uh, as Royal Caribbean has on all of their ships, I mean, the attention to detail, the furnishings, uh, the, the level of uh, appointments are just incredible. Uh, there's something new around every corner. Uh, this is a cool spot here too. It's a self-service uh, kiosk if you need any sundries, you know, uh, medications or suntan lotions or anything like that, you can get them in there. You know, let's just double back here a little bit. All right, we're gonna have a look into, into the music hall. It's, there's really nothing going on at this time, but at least they'll be able to get an idea of what it looks like. So this is the upper level. And you can get to the lower level, um, one deck below um, through the casino, but the casino's closed right now, so I'm not able to walk right through there, but you can do that normally. And that's the lower area. It's just a beautiful space. And like I said, they have some great live uh, entertainment in here. Going uh, forward here, we're gonna go to the Royal Theater. And uh, that's the main show lounge on board the ship where they have uh, a different variety of uh, performances. Uh, caught, a, caught a great show last night called Showgirls on board, which was, uh, it really brought me back to my early days of cruising when there were lavish Las Vegas style dancers with the big headpieces and feather boas and stuff. and. Um, yeah, I really uh, enjoyed that, so uh, definitely catch, catch that when you're on board. Yeah. 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 If you've achieved the Diamond and Above status with uh, Royal Caribbean's Crown and Anchor Society, you will have access to the Diamond Club here, and uh, this will give you uh, some uh, food during the morning. They have a continental breakfast, as well as the access to your concierge who's there to really help you throughout your voyage. If you have any questions, if you need a specialty dining booked or any of the other activities, they'll be more than happy to help you uh, take care of that. And uh, you do need your key card in order to access uh, the room here. And uh, we'll just go in and I'll just show you around a little bit. And uh, there is a fantastic self-serve coffee machine here that is available at all times. 
not just during either happy hours or when there's a concierge on. So if uh, you want a, a nice coffee, cappuccino, mochiato, espresso, whatever you might like, uh, this is complimentary for those that have access to the Diamond Club. Okay, so we're gonna make our way up to deck number five, forward, and then we'll walk all the way through deck five as well here. And again, the, the artwork and just the finishes are quite remarkable on board this ship. All right. So we do have another entrance to the Royal Theater up here. And uh, I'm gonna take you out here a little bit. This is here on deck five, which is typically known as the lifeboat deck um, or a promenade, if you will. Uh, there's able, you're able to walk around uh, pretty freely here. You got some nice space. This is a pretty nice uh, large area here that you can look out over the water. So yeah, when the ship's at sea, this is a great place to come to. It's usually not overly busy. And uh, like I said, you can sit here and just chill or actually just go for a walk if you don't want to go up on the uh, uh, jogging track. Okay, so as we move forward to aft, uh, we're going to enter the Royal Esplanade again. And here is the schooner bar uh, signature location on board every Royal Caribbean ship. And uh, you've got those nautical touches throughout, ropes and bells and charts and maps and just beautiful furnishings. I always love how they really have some some nice furnishings in the uh, schooner bar. And again, great place to catch live entertainment. Uh, there's a piano in here and sometimes there'll be a guitarist. And then just off the schooner bar is Chop's Grill specialty dining and I uh, enjoyed this the other night uh, never disappoints on any of the ships I've been on and then you also have the focus photo gallery if you want to get any copies of your prints done or if you need to buy a camera or accessories for a camera, uh, they're here to take care of you with that as well. So let's continue here through the schooner bar. And we are now officially in the upper level of the Royal Esplanade. And you can see here the uh, shops and the boulevard that we just passed through a few moments ago. So we're on this upper, upper level now. And the first stop we're gonna to come to is Izumi Japanese, which I actually enjoyed on uh, my first evening. Again, never really disappoints on any of the ships I've been on. Here we have the champagne lobster roll, and uh, this is the signature sashimi that has uh, tuna, shrimp, and uh, salmon. Looks just wonderful, beautiful presentation here. So a little bit different with this uh, particular uh, location is that you do have seating that's you know, around the uh, esplanade here, and then they do also have the traditional more uh, sushi bar set up as well. Not as many tables on the inside here. A really nice contemporary look and design and uh, this table really has the money shot here of the esplanade check that out so from Izumi we're uh, still making our way through uh, the upper level of the Royal Esplanade and we're gonna pass through probably one of the most peculiar dining spots that you'll have on board uh, this ship, which is Wonderland, uh, imaginative cuisine. Uh, if you are into um, Alice in Wonderland, this is really gonna be up your alley. Uh, you can we'll see here, the Mad Hatter's been at work and uh, the furnishings are not quite all matching. 
uh, very you know nice whites with uh, accents and even this beautiful light uh, up here that has these little little keys as you can see here and uh, yeah there's a nice large table through the middle and then they have some smaller tables around the side but uh, definitely check this out and And again, it's available on the unlimited dining package. So make that one of your options. Just get a little shot here from the upper Esplanade down to the lower. And uh, similar to other ships that have either a Royal Promenade, uh, they do change the lighting in here from uh, day to evening. So it does give you a different vibe throughout the day or wherever, or what time of the day it might be while you're in here. And there's another cool looking chair here from Wonderland's entrance. I'm just gonna double back again here. Um, again, there's places on both sides of the Esplanade. This is the shore excursions area. Um, a lot of the times there will be somebody here to personally help you if you need, if you have any questions, but they've got these great kiosks. Uh, they're on a lot of the ships now, and uh, you just tap your, uh, your card, and it'll walk you through uh, available shore excursions, or you can make changes to your reservations. Uh, so, you know, you definitely have uh, easy access to, uh, to that. And it's, things are also available on the Royal Caribbean app, which is fantastic. It works very well. Let's check out the future, perhaps here at the Bionic Bar. a little variety of uh, drinks available to you. So this, this place hasn't been overly busy on this cruise, but uh, it's a cool, cool feature and uh, people do seem to like it. And there's another shot of the uh, Esplanade. Now we're gonna walk through another section here. It's kind of an extension of the Esplanade and this is called the Via. So we're now walking uh, midship towards aft. And have a look at this sort of liquid metal art installation here. Just incredible. It's like Terminator 2. And all this beautiful art and design. And uh, the ship is just completely decked out with LED lighting. So you get these uh, different sort of themes of light. And again, it changes from day to day. So we're going to start over here at uh, Giovanni's Italian kitchen and wine bar. Uh, this is kind of a development of, or redevelopment, if you will, of Giovanni's Italian restaurant on board some of the other ships. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you who have been on more recent ships have also seen the Jamie's Italian. Uh, Jamie's will no longer be uh, put on new ships, but uh, apparently there are some items from the menu that have made its way over to uh, Giovanni's Italian Kitchen and Wine Bar. So if, uh, I think some of the uh, appetizers, antipasti, are still available if you uh, like those. And uh, they do have excellent pizzas, by the way. I've had the Giovanni's, which is the signature, and uh, it was fantastic. And uh, we're just entering the wine bar now, and uh, along with your wines, they do have uh, different cheeses and meats that you can get, make some plates. Here's the wine bar itself. And there's a lot of seating in here. A lot of people come here uh, even before dinner, um, which 
you know, they could be having dinner anywhere, but come here because it's a nice, nice spot to just hang out. I'll show you a little bit of the exterior of Giovanni's. Nice vintage bicycle. And by the way, um, as we did, when you board the ship, if you do have the unlimited dining package, you can actually come here for lunch as well as dinner. Um, so typically when the ship is uh, at sea, this is a lunch option for you. Um, just another way to get more value from your dining package. And uh, from up here, you can look down into the main dining room that spans the two lower decks. We were just there a little while ago, and I really love that that glass uh, art piece there. Uh, here they have a little more high-end shops uh, for watches and jewelry. I'll just give you another quick spin around so that was the entrance over there into the via and here's some examples of the art that's available um, through the auction at Park West and we're continuing to move our way aft towards the incredible 270 theater And if you know or maybe don't know where you want to go next on your cruise, come over here to Next Cruise and they'll be happy to book one for you. Uh, there are some great uh, perks when you do book on board. Hello. And uh, highly recommend checking that out. There's some exclusive deals if you book your next cruise while on the ship. If you're looking for an included casual place to eat that has a lot of fresh ingredients, you want to check out the cafe at 270. So they have an assortment of uh, custom-made salads here. They do also serve breakfast in here as well, breakfast and lunch. And they've got soups and wraps and a series of sandwiches that they can actually press if you prefer. You can also get uh, specialty coffees here. The Cafe Promenade on board does not actually serve specialty coffees, so this would be your spot to come to unless you want to go to a more premium experience and go to the licensed Starbucks on board. Here is the 270 Theater. It looks like right now they're doing some rehearsals for the uh, show, The Book, which I did catch on the first night. Uh, definitely get that on your list and book it as soon as you get on board. So we're here in Adventure Ocean on board Odyssey of the Seas, and as you can see, there's several different programs available. You've got the uh, Adventure Ocean Babies, 6 to 36 months. Uh, unfortunately, I'm a little past that now. Um, AO uh, Juniors, 3 to 5 year old, and Play Place, which is pretty much open for all the, the families to yeah, play together. Yep. Yeah. Excellent. So, yeah, let's do a walkthrough here. Uh, this is nice and colorful. This is for 6 months to 36 months. And I uh, got some nice little play toys here. And, uh, you know, gives a little bit of stimulation for the little guys and girls as well. So this is the three to five year old room. Oh, it's nice large, so like a little play pirate ship over here. And a nice big screen. Well, that's interactive. Yeah, oh. so they get a remote and then they help uh, Mika and Lulu. Oh, there's even a Royal Caribbean ship back here. It looks like Oasis class. That's a nice little touch.
So we're here at Adventure Ocean. This is the six to 12 year old area. And uh, again, has that beautiful bright entrance as we saw in the uh, younger kids areas. The workshop space, I believe this is open here. This is their area for like arts and crafts and games. Here's some interactive screens to, I guess, play games and so forth. And uh, nice modular furniture here as well. Let's take a walk through the Windjammer Marketplace Buffet. Just outside the Windjammer on Deck 14, you'll find Coastal Kitchen. Guests in Grand Suites and above can dine for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, as well as Pinnacle Club Crown and Anchor members based on availability. Junior Suites can dine at dinner only. Also on Deck 14, you'll find the Teppanyaki Specialty Restaurant. Open for dinner nightly and select days for lunch, guests will enjoy a nice menu along with the flair of the Hibachi Masters. Here we go, ding, 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 ding. Wow, look at my hands, very sexy, that thing. <laughs> <laughs> ding, 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 whoa. Ready? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, from the Windjammer here on deck 14, uh, we're going to move uh, forward. First out to the pool deck. And uh, we got another included dining option here, El Loco Fresh. Uh, we got tacos, burritos, quesadillas. Had some lunch here yesterday. Nice, fresh, good quality food. And uh, today is a port day in Costa Maya. So it's not as busy as it would normally be at this time, which is uh, quarter after 11. Over here, you've got Splash Away Bay. Nice little kids' play area. You've got slides, you've got water spouts and fountains. And there's a little splash pad here for the smallest cruisers. And there's the main pool. Everything just pops today in this really bright sun. These little tropical details everywhere here. And if you can grab one of these uh, in-pool loungers, uh, loungers a uh, great way to cool off without actually going in the water. If you're looking for a drink while you're out at the pool deck, check out the lime and coconut. And there's my friend Christopher, great name again. How you doing? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, the namesake drink with lime and coconut, uh, it's uh, nice fruity and very refreshing. Check that out. Let's give you another look here at the main pool. All right. And uh, these casitas are available for rent. Uh, it's uh, $149 on port days and $199 on sea days. So here on the port side, uh, left side facing forward, uh, you'll see one of the smoking areas. And uh, something that's different on uh, this Quantum class ship, this is technically a Quantum Ultra class ship, is there is no indoor pool other than the Solarium, but for all guests, this, is, this has now been converted into an outdoor pool. And for the warmer climates that the ship is intending to visit, it works much better. So that's the underside of the North Star uh, boom. And uh, there's another side to the lime and coconut bar. 
and uh, they do scuba diving lessons in here. I saw that the other day. And you can also catch a movie here during the day or the evening uh, with the uh, large screen. Um, some of the other Quantum class ships, uh, that's actually at the side of the ship. This is, I think, in a much better uh, location, easier to uh, actually watch. And uh, lots of seating, so if you want to get out of the sun, there's still all these shaded areas on the side and under the canopy here near the lime and coconut. Solarium Bistro is typically a less busy uh, location on board for breakfast. And uh, like I said, it is included. Uh, I'm all about uh, removing myself from all the crowds on board the ship. Uh, that's even before things took a big change last year. But it's a really nice, small, but very nice place to uh, grab a bite throughout the day. Some of the breakfast options here today. And everything will be served to you by these great people here at the bistro. Let's head into the solarium at the forward section here. Auto open. Just another shot of the Solarium Bistro. I just love how this opens up here to all the glass. And uh, no matter where these ships go, you always have the sense of a tropical vibe in here. Although this ship really was designed for more warm weather cruising. Uh, that's why they got rid of one of the indoor pools as there are on all the other ships that made it a outdoor pool. These are sculptures, believe it or not. They look so realistic. And uh, I mean, the detail is absolutely incredible. Uh, there's a few of these around the ship. Here's the Sunshine Bar ready to take your orders, well, when they open at least. And uh, one of the great features of the solarium pool is that it's actually tiered. So you have these multi-levels, each giving you kind of a different view, a different experience. So it uh, starts up here, steps down to another pool area, and another pool area, and then all the way here at the bottom, it's more of like a just a lounge area with some in-water loungers. How's that for a raging whirlpool? That'll soak away your problems. Here's another view from the bottom lounge area up to the top, and you can just get an idea of the scale in here, this glass roof. Solarium is really just about laying back and chilling. Uh, lots of seating options, loungers, tables. Um, you can actually bring your food out here and eat if you'd like. Uh, it's uh, kind of special two-person loungers are in high demand typically uh, on sea days. Uh, today we were here in Cosmo, so there's really nobody up here yet. No matter the time of the day, get out here to the pool deck and enjoy some soft serve from Sprinkles. And uh, right now they'll actually serve that for you, which I think is a great way to just keep the space nice and clean throughout the day. So now we're gonna head up to deck 15. And uh, deck 15 is where a lot of the uh, sports uh, activities are. And uh, right now we're just entering up through the uh, mid midship uh, pool area and I'll walk you around the front and then we'll double back on the other side because it does wrap completely around. So this uh, is the jogging track and this does wrap around the entire deck 15. Definitely try to get out here early in the morning because it's sweltering right now. Here's a shot of the new open air pool from above and uh, 
All the whirlpools on this ship are quite large, uh, which is great. Uh, you know, it gives you a little more space between each guest. And there's another casita. So the casitas are on deck uh, 14 and 15. And uh, those can be rented from the Lime and Coconut Bar. There's an attendant there. We'll get you all set up. So we're just passing around uh, the front of the ship. And this is where the spa and fitness center are located. Uh, great views from uh, all the equipment uh, towards the windows, um, whether you're at sea or whether you're in port, uh, it's fantastic. We're going to check out the Vitality Spa and Salon. Come along. Hello. Welcome on board. My name is Pat, okay, all the way from Kenya, and I came here to relax you as you're cruising. Mm -hmm. I'm a massage therapist, okay? Stones, we have the crystal salt stone. This one, it concentrates more on the meridian and the chakra point, okay? So when you massage you with the crystal stone, it's going to help you to calm. At the same time, it's going to relax your muscles. You walk out of here feeling jelly, jelly. So wow. relaxed. That sounds, all sounds great. Thank you so much and hope to see you. Yes, yeah? thank you, Pat. Great. Um, so you can come in at any time during spa operation hours to use your thermal suite. And yes, it has your steam room, your sauna, so your dry steam room. We can go inside so that you can see what it looks like. So oh. yeah, your dry heat. Very nice, yes. Mm -hmm. And then your steam room. Yeah. Well, yes, it's steamy. <laughs> it is steaming. <laughs> Has some nice eucalyptus in. And then your heated beds. Your heated beds are excellent because they are designed in a way to align the spine. Tropical rain shower. So this here has different settings and you can decide what you want. So if you want tropical rain, cold, mist, Caribbean storm, mm -hmm. oh. you can get all of that in this one shower. So yeah, you can go inside. Okay, there you go. There's nozzles on the ceiling. Great. And I don't know if you can see here, but right at the front, there uh, that's the glass canopy for the solarium. One deck below. And if you're wrapping around the front of the ship and you're getting tired, a little bit of encouragement, don't give up. Just keep going for it. And we're going to start walking our way aft. And there's a little bit of a incline or decline, whichever way you happen to be going at the moment, uh, from the very, very front as we make our way aft. If you'd like to walk or run on board, uh, here are the stats for the running track on board. And if you don't want to spend the money on the casita, there are a lot of these uh, two or maybe even three person uh, lounge beds. Uh, they won't give you quite as much shade as uh, the casita will, but if a uh, little hint, if you throw a couple of towels on top, uh, kind of act as a little tent canopy for you. Here's uh, another whirlpool that kind of has an infinity edge. And uh, that's a kind of cool spot to soak and uh, watch a movie at the same time. And this is the suite sun deck. Uh, so any guest that's booked in a grand suite and above will have access to this area uh, with your own attendant. And uh, that's nice. Of course, they have premium seating for the movies. So we're here at the upper level of the Lime and Coconut. And as you can see right above is the North Star. Um, had a great ride on that yesterday, and I have mentioned this in other videos, but North Star actually has two different experiences. There's an included complimentary experience, which is around six or seven minutes long, and essentially the, the gondola will go only up and down, but it will take you the full height, which is 300 feet above the water surface. Uh, and then there is a premium one that costs $29 per person. Uh, it runs about 16 minutes, and that one will um, take you up and down and over the edge of the ship. Now the premium ones are available at sea because uh, just the panorama from there is incredible and on port days is when they do the free experience and it's like every 15 minutes for like blocks of two to three hours in the morning and uh, in the late afternoon as well. Just please on the corner for me just for the takeoff. 
And here's the upper level of the lime and coconut. And there is lots of seating up here. However, it all has direct sun. So uh, not so much shade available up here. And then there's this little mezzanine section as well with uh, seats. It's a good place to just kind of hang out maybe as the sun's going down. Not so much right now uh, with these temperatures. And there's another, another look at the pool deck. Everyone having a good time today here in Costa Maya. So onward, we're going to continue to walk uh, from the midship pool to the aft here on deck 15. And lots of uh, loungers open right now. A lot of people have gotten off the ship. And if, I don't know if you can see this up there, but one deck up, that is actually a teen outdoor teen hangout. I uh, saw a lot of kids there last night and uh, they got some uh, large chests and these little kind of uh, structures where you know kids can just chill out. So I'm going to take you uh, through the um, outer part of deck 15 first and then we'll uh, go on the inside and I'll show you the two level C-plex complex. And here's the official start to the jogging track. In this section up here that's sticking out over the deck, uh, right underneath the Odyssey of the Sea sign, that is the upper level of Seaplex, uh, where they have Playmaker Sports Bar and Arcade, um, and the arcade games themselves. And good shaded seating here as well. So as we approach the aft section here, You'll see uh, Skypad, which is available on uh, a couple of other ships in the fleet. Uh, Mariner of the Seas, Independence of the Seas, and uh, Spectrum of the Seas, which was the first in this Quantum Ultra class ship, this uh, Odyssey being the second. And uh, they offer two types of experiences here at Skypad. There is a VR one where you put on a virtual headset. Uh, it takes you through different worlds while you're bouncing up and down in this globe. And then there's one also uh, without that, just to enjoy the up and down. <laughs> Hasn't been all that busy on this particular cruise. All right, and this is the complete aft section of deck number 15. This race section is where they have the flow rider. And uh, again, we're in port right now that is not open. Uh, it usually opens, I think, just after noon. And this is the entrance to the ripcord by iFly, um, which is the skydiving simulator. Uh, again, that does a, that is available as a a free complimentary experience which is only one minute in length or there is also one that is uh, longer and that will be a charge of $49 per person. Here's the rock climbing wall which is a little bit different than other ships where it's on the side of the ship not right off the back. This is another example of the amazing art installations on board. 
this uh, pink flowered kitten here is uh, looking for his ball of yarn which is way up there and he's managed to unfurl a little bit of it and uh, these have become uh, well liked on board the quantum class ships there's a giraffe and a panda uh, people seem to really like them here on deck 15 on the uh, starboard side of the ship you will find this uh, kind of billiard soccer game it's where you use your feet uh, these are you know soccer sized balls here and uh, same idea as billiards but uh, much larger scale and a lot easier to play on a moving ship we are here in social 180 this is the teen club uh, 13 to 17 here on board odyssey of the seas and uh, i wish i had a teen club like this i wish I was on a cruise ship when I was that age. But anyway, this is a, a great looking space. Uh, I can see the teens probably having a great time in here. A uh, little hangout away from mom and dad and maybe the younger siblings. So definitely come and check this out. So we're gonna enter the lower section of Cplex. This amazing two level facility is actually used for multiple activities and events throughout the voyage. Uh, looks like right now they're doing some, some crew workouts, um, but they do have uh, basketball, they do have uh, ping pong and uh, other uh, table games that they bring out on the surface. And believe it or not, there's even bumper cars. And uh, I had a chance to do it the other day and it is fantastic. And here's a few of the arcade games that they do have. There's a great Mario Kart and uh, Ski Ball. And then these have uh, Prize Hub. So if you wanna get some uh, little trinkets with your uh, accumulated points, you can do that as well. And this is a brand new virtual reality experience where you actually don um, a different sensors, equipment that you wear and uh, I'm going to be trying this in a couple of days, but uh, this is a complimentary experience, but you have to book it on the app, so do it quickly. So going up one deck to deck 16, you'll find a new addition to this class of ship. And here we have the Playmakers Sports Bar and Arcade. Um, I've enjoyed these on several other ships in the fleet that have been added during dry docks, but none have a view quite like this. You can play table games up here. There's a full service bar. But really, check out these amazing windows here. Now, Playmakers does have a uh, bar menu of uh, food, uh, burgers, chicken wings, loaded fries, great chicken sandwich that I had the other day. And that is available and included on the unlimited dining package. So um, as I think you can see, as I've mentioned in some of the other areas, you really do get great value with the unlimited dining package. It just gives you so many more choices for lunch and for dinner um, of places that normally you would have to pay upwards of $45 for. Uh, in some cases, maybe a little bit more. So. Definitely check that out on your cruise planner at home on, your, on the Royal Caribbean website. And here is the upper level on the other side that has many more arcade games, similar incredible views. And this place is really hopping in the evenings. Uh, they have a DJ in here, play some great music. And uh, it's really just a party vibe. And this is a uh, interactive uh, gaming experience here. I haven't actually played it, but it uh, looks kind of cool. Kind of like a 
interactive uh, Nintendo type experience. And once again, that is Cplex. Here at the back of deck 15, there is Skypad. Uh, is available on other ships. It is also complimentary. Times will vary based on sea or port days. And uh, one cool feature is with this ship, it's actually cantilevered uh, over the side of the ship. So there's these stairs that wrap around and climb around the side of the sphere. And then you have this glass mini bridge right off the back of the ship, back side, and you can see clear down to the water and the lifeboats. skydive but we're afraid to jump out of a plane, ripcord by iFly is just what you needed. Rider is a complimentary activity. I uh, do need to uh, get here a little bit early before they open just so you don't have to wait in too long a line. And they do offer experiences uh, that are paid. They would give you like either private instruction or um, they have like times where like people that are pros get to use the, the flow rider as well. So this is the uh, Vitality Fitness Center on board Odyssey of the Seas and uh, I always love the fact that their uh, Royal Caribbean does tend to put their uh, fitness centers in a place where you can really appreciate the views and this I would say is one of the best uh, from this class of ship. Uh, they really spoil you with views pretty much wrapping around the entire front of the ship as you can see here. And uh, so you can see the port on one side, the ocean on the other. I mean, it's just so bright and uh, it makes you actually want to come and, and do your workout. And they are working on a uh, reduced capacity here right now. So they have certain hours set aside for um, mixed usage, which is vaccinated, unvaccinated. And then they also have uh, the majority of the day, it is strictly vaccinated only. Uh, so if you're in one of the mixed use ones, you really have to make an appointment um, in order to have access to a machine or the space or you know, weights and so forth. There's also loads of strength training and uh, weight machines here. So whatever uh, interests you, whatever you're looking to do here in the fitness center, they pretty much have you uh, covered. Thanks for watching our walking tour of Odyssey of the Seas. Don't forget to like this video, post your comments and questions, and subscribe for more Talking Cruise.